Pascal with friends, welcome back to my channel. Virginia here with a new project to share with you. Today I'm going to create a spread on my traveler's notebook and I'm using the South Beach Kids by Coco Atesi. And I know this is a, an old kit, um, but at the moment I'm working on various projects in parallel. Uh, so in my next video, you will probably see me jumping back and forth from one month kit to another. But I still think that it's interesting to share with you the processes, so I hope you will enjoy it. So, uh, for this project, I'm going to use uh, these two pictures of my boyfriend and myself and make it stupid faces as we often do when we take selfies. And I want to use uh, this page with this beautiful pattern of leaves and branches um, because uh, there is some green in my picture. You can see some trees from the window uh, behind us. And I'm going to stick the photos on the left side of my spread. I, I know that I want to cover the separation line between the two photos. And also they do not fit completely the page uh, widthwise. Uh, that's why I decided to use uh, one of the washi tapes included in the kits uh, to frame the pictures, let's say. Uh, so I chose this one with a black and white pattern because it's subtle and do not add extra colors. And uh, as you saw, I stuck a strip of washi tape along the left um, edge of the page. And now I'm going to stick one, one strip horizontally to cover the separation line between the two uh, photos. And I'm cutting the excess. Now, at this point, I knew I wanted to use these lovely cork hearts, which I bought some time ago in a local crafting store and which have been sitting in a box and waiting for too long already. Um, so let's use them, right? Uh, hoarding them is useless. And I also won't include uh, these beautiful tags because I love tags. I think they are very cute elements. I'm going to stick them along the right border, slightly overlapping them. So I'm going to first staple them one to the other and then uh, glue them with some double face tape. And I'm also going to use uh, um, this uh, package label sticker too, uh, since it says uh, BCN, which is the flight code for Barcelona. And I live in Barcelona, as you know already, and also these photos were shot at my place uh, in Barcelona, so I really have to uh, use it, right? I want to add a string uh, to the three tags, but I don't have Becky Twine in matching colors. So I decided to use uh, some embroidery floss. And I'm going to, I'm using a green, a pinkish red, and a yellow string. For the moment, I'm leaving them long, but I will cut them short later. Now I'm, I'm seeing what elements I can add. And uh, I know I want to use some of the rare bones, in particular uh, this one which says enjoy summer is going to be my title. So I'm um, transferring it on a piece of white cardstock and fussy cutting it out. But for the moment, I'm leaving it aside because first I want to uh, glue down the cork hearts. And this is not going to be easy, I tell you. I'm using some strong glue, which supposedly can be used to attach various materials. And I hope that they won't come off too early, at least. I also had to put some pressure on them and wait a little bit for the glue uh, to dry. So now I'm going to add 
uh, my title on this yellow tag, the, the perfect spot. And I'm also going to um, put a bit, um, a few hearts. There are a few in the ribbons and the, in the sticker sheets. Now I'm cutting the thread and I'm going to uh, fix the, the different thread to the page with a little drop of glue um, because I like them to lay a bit carved and not straight. So this way I can um, arrange them as I like. I want to add this sticker uh, on the left side between my pictures and also on the right side uh, this cute umbrella, this is actually a ribbon uh, which I transferred on white cardstock and fast cut. And now I go back in with more hearts, with sticker hearts. Checking if there's something more that I want to add. Just writing down the date. And now I'm going to uh, finish out my uh, um, project by adding a few enamel dots, which I really like because I think they give a finished look to the page. And this is going to finish off my uh, spread. I really hope you liked it, but I would also like to take this occasion to ask you for your opinion and advice. Uh, I would like to improve my channel to create videos that you would want to watch. I would be very happy to hear from you what you like or what you do not like on my videos, what kind of videos you prefer to watch, and also what kind of narration you prefer, more technical or in detail or more personal, for example, you like people telling you stories. Uh, please leave me a comment, give me whatever suggestion you think could be useful for me to improve my channel. Thank you in advance for your help. And if you like this video, please give it a thumb up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video. Bye bye!